Hello guys and welcome back to Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Justice for All. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we learned about Max's bust. And it's not as weird as you might think. And in this episode, we're going to hopefully chase down a few new clues like this letter we got that was addressed to the murderer. Very interesting. So let's go ahead and move forward and see what new clues uh, start popping up. So now we've kind of went everywhere and we're not sure whether or not the investigation in the acrobat's room has finished up so we're gonna go ahead and move back to the detention center and uh, talk with max galactica do you have any new talking points or is it just pretty much the same thing i probably should have expected that yeah okay what's up with this note buddy do you know anything about this note the morning of the murder, it was posted on the wall in the cafeteria. I, I do know all about that note. When I read it, my heart certainly skipped a beat. Your heart skipped a beat? While I was enjoying my morning tea, the ringmaster and company entered the room. And company? Huzzah! I guess it wasn't really a company. It was just the ringmaster and my sweetie pie. When the ringmaster read the note, he turned an incredible bright red. All of a sudden, he tore it off the wall and shoved it into the pocket of his coat tail. Or tail coat, rather. Really? Out of curiosity, what in the world was written on that thing? Let's see. Uh-huh. Oh, I don't want to steal the fun away from my sweeties. Go and find out on your own. I'm sure you can find it somewhere. Huzzah! You might also want to ask my sweetie pie princess. Gosh dang it, Max. I probably should have just gone to the circus entrance straight from the detention center. I don't know why I didn't. I don't like that music, but it's so gosh darn catchy. Max and the Ringmaster had their talk in this room. That could have been when the Ringmaster put on Max's costume and went outside. Why'd he do that? Maybe it was cold or something? So I said check the tail coat. Yeah, that was the correct one. I, I, I misread it as coat tail, but it's tail coat. Hey, do you see that? There's a scrap of paper shoved into the pocket of this tailcoat. You know, I've got a feeling I know what that is. I bet that's the other half of the note that Mo gave us. Then let's hurry up and check this thing out, Nick. I knew it! It fits perfectly with the other piece. What does it say? What does it say? To the murderer. I have conclusive evidence of what took place. Meet at 10pm tonight at the Lodging House Plaza. Tonight at 10 p.m.? That's when the murder took place. Now we need to find out who called the Ringmaster. So since we're trying to figure out who called out the Ringmaster, let's head back to the scene of the crime. It was around here somewhere. Hey, Gumshoe, how's it going? Hi, Detective Gumshoe. I'm sure you did a good job, as usual. Well, I am done with the investigation of the acrobat. Finally. But with, uh, Miss Von Karma... Nick? What is that? That beeping sound? Huh. It's Miss Von Karma. Huh? Every time I hear that sound, she's usually not very far behind. Some sort of pager or something? If you don't mind, pal, I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. Quick. See ya, pal! I didn't know that Gumshoe could run that fast. So much for being a flatfoot. Never seen a grown man so afraid of a girl still in her teens. Well, let's go inside. It's freezing out here. Uh-oh, the whip- OW! That whip cut right through me! Von- 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 Karma! She really did appear! It was a battle today in court, wasn't it, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Did you have to jump out and scare us like that? <sighs> what can I do for you? Tomorrow will be the day. 
The day my dream finally comes true. You mean the story of my defeat at your hands making the national news? <laughs> national news? You possess such a small sense of scale. The global news, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Your miserable plight will be known internationally. So from her logic, do you think Phoenix's victory from Case 2 was on international news? Because she's... I'm pretty sure she, I'm pretty sure she didn't lose a case until case two and she had a record of like five years straight of just non-stop winning cases and Phoenix has only done like had only done like four or five cases at that point so you'd think that our situ us winning would be on international news I don't know it was around this time like chronologically in the series that Phoenix Wright started becoming more popular as a lawyer so maybe that's where it stemmed from. I suppose it most likely stemmed from him winning against uh, Manfred von Karma in Case 4 but of the first game, but that's neither here nor there. I think she might be overestimating the importance of a win by just a smidge. I think this is the first time I've gotten to present my attorney's badge to von Karma. What about this? Ow! He hit me again. Maybe you should hold off on the wild goose chases. Hey look, it's you. Oh, uh, sorry, Bayad, you got whipped again. So yeah, while she's here, let's go ahead and talk to her. Tomorrow's trial. Von Karma, it appears you got your hands onto something, huh? Ha! Huh, I'm amazed you picked up on that much. Anyone could. You couldn't hide that look, to vic look of victory with ten paper bags on your head. I've got conclusive evidence and a conclusive witness. Need any more hints? A conclusive witness. You must mean the acrobat, right? I'm putting in this summons for him to be called as a witness as we speak. It's the final nail in your coffin, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Yeah, 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 I get it already. You want to beat and destroy me. Can't worry about her. I've got to try and find out more information by myself. Why do you keep giving Nick the evil eye? Doesn't matter if you prove the defendant guilty tomorrow. Nothing will be able to bring your dad back. My... Dad... You must mean the esteemed Manfred von Kama. Of course, your dad! I know you miss him. Enough out of you. One more word and you'll get a mouthful of vip. Now, when did I ever bring up my papa's name in this, or any other conversation? Then... Then what's this revenge thing you're talking about? You wouldn't understand, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I have to see him again. One more time. Him? I'm sure you know to whom I refer. Miles Edgeworth. What? Edgeworth? M Mr. Edgeworth? M M Miles e e Edgeworth. Miles Edgeworth? Why would you even bring him up? You haven't forgotten, have you? Do you know who it was that trained the gifted prosecutor, Miles Edgeworth? Manfred von Karma. Exactly right. It was my papa. That means that Edgeworth was... Right again. Miles was like a little brother to me. Huh? Little brother? Edgeworth and Nick are the same age. Edgeworth. The man who inspired me to become an attorney. I fought against him in a few cases. But after that case was over... He... vanished. It's your fault he is gone. Huh? It's the truth, isn't it, Mr. Phoenix Wright? I... I... Nick, what does she mean? After that case, Edgeworth was in a peculiar state, and he got worse every day. He never set foot into court again, and then one day, he just vanished. All he left was a simple note at the prosecutor's office. Prosecutor Miles Edgeworth chooses death. 
And that was one year ago. It was right after you left to go back home. Mr. Edgeworth... He's dead? I don't believe it. He's still alive. I'm sure of it. Somewhere in this world, he's still alive. Prosecutor Miles Edgeworth chooses death? Of course he did. You've ruined his reputation as a prosecutor. You effectively killed the prosecutor in him. Just like your victory muddied the honorable name Von Karma. I'm going to find him. And then I'm going to teach him the difference between right and wrong with my own hands. N Nick, um, about Edgeworth? Maya, I already told you this once. Don't make me do it again. Don't bring up his name in front of me again. Okay? N Nick? Von Karma? What? I don't know if you're God's gift to prosecutors or not, but I've had about enough of you. Him too. What? What happened? <laughs> this dog is all bark and no bite. He's already been defeated. Regardless, I have nothing to inform you of you two, you two of today. Tomorrow will be the greatest courtroom battle this country has ever seen. Nick? Let's go. We need to talk with the performer on the third floor. I'm sorry I brought it up, Nick. Hey, look, it's a new character. Quickly changing the topic there from very dark back to very light. Uh, interesting thing about that scene we were just talking about, uh, it was changed in the HD trilogy port because uh, starting with the DS version of this game, of the first game, there was an extra case added between, added at the very end, and that scene kind of contradicts some information from case five, and so that's why I kind of wanted to wait to do case five till after I've completed the, the, the completed the trilogy, just because it makes more narrative sense. Anyway, new character. Oh god, what voice do I do for you? I'll just do whatever and see if I can fix it up. Ah, uh, you must be Phoenix Wright. Y yes Pleased to meet you. I'm Ken Dingling. But here at the circus, everyone just calls me Acro. Mr. Acro. Um, how do you know my name? The detective told me. He said you'd definitely show up here. Acro, you're a member of the circus as well? That's right. I mainly perform on the tightrope or the flying trapeze. But nowadays, all I perform in is my wheelchair. Ah, God, the music is like a jump scare. Attorney's badge. What do you think of this? I'm sorry, but my, but in my present physical condition, I don't really know much about what goes on outside of this room. Oh, we're sorry. Don't worry about it. No need to apologize. Well, he seems pleasant. I can't believe what happened to the Ringmaster. Such a wonderful man. What a pity. I have no clue what to do with my life now. I'm sorry. This circus meant everything to me. But don't worry about me. There are still things that I have left to do in this world. Acro, why did you join the circus? When I was a kid, my parents failed miserably at business. Then, one night, they decided to run away from it all. Without me. <laughs> the only person who was willing to take my parents' place was the ringmaster. The ringmaster took such incredible care of me. He was truly a lifesaver. Seems like the ringmaster was truly a saint. He was... He was. That's why I decided to do something very important. I decided that I would devote my entire life to finding a way to repay him. And now, look how someone repaid him for all the good in his life. Such a shame. Sometimes I think that he was almost too kind. Perhaps he was too kind to his performers. Perhaps he was too kind to his daughter. Hmm. I wonder if he spoiled Regina. Regina is so cute. She's truly a princess. Truly a princess. Are you sure that's a good thing? Um... Huh. Do I detect a hint of a grudge against Regina? 
Um, I'm sorry to ask, but why are you in a wheelchair? The nerves in my legs were badly damaged. And you can't walk now? I can't even stand now. And since I live on the third floor, I can't even leave this building by myself. That's awful. The accident happened during the an acrobatics session, right? Um... A psyche lock? Doesn't seem like Akra's injuries were acrobatic in nature. What's on your mind, Mr. Wright? Well, exactly when were you injured? It's almost been six months since I was hurt. I injured my legs during practice. Six months ago? What in the world went on at this circus then? I stopped by yesterday and noticed that you weren't in your room. I was at the hospital all day yesterday. Ah, you went there for rehabilitation? What about the murder? Of course I knew about it. I spoke with the police before they allowed me to go to the hospital. Before I got a call from the prosecutor, I was convinced that it was all a dream. Huh? I just couldn't believe it. When I saw what I saw... What you saw? Jeez, that sounds really ominous. What did you see, Acro? That night, I was in bed sleeping when I heard a huge sound coming from below my window. I see. The scene of the crime was right below your window. That's when I looked out at the window. And what did you see? He was flying straight up into the air. He? Maximilian Galactica. What? That's what I thought he'd say. You're absolutely positive that it was Max you saw flying. I am absolutely sure. There's no doubt in my mind. Nick. <sighs> well, not a lot out of this witness. And he has a psyche lock, which means we should probably come back here later once we've gathered some more information. Grrr. I've got a bad feeling about this. Grrr. Yeah! Nick! Wonderful. Today's special must be Filet of Phoenix. Stay! Stay! Heal! Oh! Maya! Nick! It's you guys! I'm sorry. I guess I made a mistake. A uh, mistake Yeah, a little one. I was thinking of teaching whatever primate was out there a lesson. But I was expecting more of a monkey than a human. A monkey? Uh, well, we were looking for you, so let's let's talk. It's a pity about what happened to the ringmaster. Dad? Everyone loved him, didn't they? He must have been quite a man. He was! I love my dad so much! I hate to say it, but she doesn't seem all that broken up about her father. That's why I feel so lonely. Now that I won't be able to see him for a while. For a while? Yeah! When Leon died, I talked with my dad and he told me that when someone dies, they just become a star in the heavens. A star? That means that my dad is looking down on me from the sky. That's why I love the night so much. I can see everyone who's gone. When someone dies, they just become a star in the heavens. That's kind of sweet. But I bet you there's no way that Maya believes that. What do you mean there's no way I believe that? Do you think that one day I'll be a star too? Of course. You really think so? Yeah, you will. I think. I've got a feeling everyone is doing great up there in the sky. I wonder if everything's alright with Regina. Just to go back and clear something up, why'd you want to teach Money a lesson? Because he's a meanie. He's got something that means a lot to me. Something that means a lot to you? It must be something shiny, right? Um, actually, it's a stage costume. It's got lots of spangles. It's really beautiful. You, you should see it. 
What are spangles? When the costume gets hit by the spotlight, it dazzles. Hey, Mr. Attorney. Huh? If you saw that monkey, you'd get my dress back for me, wouldn't you? It's really important to me. Oh my god, gladly, but of course, I'll get it for you. But of course is probably the funniest, uh, phrased one here, so I'll just say that one. Leave it all up to us. There's no way I could, I could turn down that request. Yay, you're really gonna do it? I guess we'll have to in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching, and next time we're gonna go ahead and start on this fetch quest, I guess. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!